to nine o'clock and because today is what day Francois Saint Just? Time for Agrobuzz. Does that mean you don't remember what day it is? Or you do remember what Feels day like it is? Feels like an Agrobuzz. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Folks, that's what we do on a Wednesday at this time. <laughs> Last week, Thursday, 342 students across the parishes of Manchester, St. Anne and St. Catherine were awarded scholarships. And it was all under the Rio Tinto Legacy Fund Agricultural Scholarship Program. Oh my gosh. Now, the students will receive support for tuition, transportation, lunch, books, uniform, agricultural tools, and other related expenses. And the fund, sponsored by Rio Tinto Alcan is in its 11th year. It's actually managed by the Jamaica, administered by the 4-H clubs and managed by the Development Bank of Jamaica. So we hauled Dr. Ronald Blake, who's executive director of the Jamaica 4-H clubs, to the phone to tell us some more about it. Good morning, Dr. Blake. Welcome. How you do? I am doing great, Paula. Better for hearing you. Thanks to you and your listeners. Well, we are quite happy to share the good news and we're curious about how this partnership with Rio Tinto Alcan came about. Well, you know, the the Jamaica Forage Club is a statutory body, but it relies on many local and international partners to complement the resources we receive to implement projects, programs, and activities among our young people. And so the Rio Tinto Partnership is one of those non-governmental partnerships. And we have worked with Alken over the years. In fact, um, in the when Alken operated in Jamaica, Alken was one of the major corporate sponsors for the Jamaica Forage Club. So it was not very difficult that when Rio Tinto decided to reinvest in Jamaica, they engage a consultant to find an organization which they figure would be a suitable vehicle to, 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 to recruit and to manage the scholarship portfolio that was intended. And they have talked to many different enterprises, but when it was forage time. I think they recognized that it was an excellent match. And so from the inception, the Jamaica Forage Club has been working through a Rio Tinto Steering Committee that manages the scholarship, as well as the Development Bank of Jamaica, which manages the investment from which the scholarship is funded. And clearly you've been having such success. What kind of impact have you seen on the students, the recipients? A whole lot, a whole lot. On a whole lot, and and I, I must tell you, I think Rio Tinto, Alcan Rio Tinto is extremely pleased for the investment. Um, I mean, so far they have invested over 126 million, but I think it's value for money. In fact, there are some wonderful um, impacts that we have been assessing, and we are seeing on 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 the beneficiaries. One of them that readily comes to mind is the fact that students who participate in the scholarship track, because the scholarship is provided at the secondary vocational and tertiary institution, and for us, the, the scholarship track are those who would have benefited at the secondary or vocational level and move on to the tertiary level. What we are seeing is that students who participate in the track are in fact 58% more likely to remain in the agricultural sector. So they're either going to be working as a technocrat or a farmer or some related enterprise having to do with agriculture. And that for me is major. We also realize that 63% of beneficiaries at the territory level experience an increase in on their baseline grade. So there are two major criteria for, for, for scholarship selection. Your 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 scholarship as well as your the, the, the need that you, you demonstrate. And so for all students 
um, applying, they have to provide us with a base level academic performance. And what we are seeing is a 63% improvement on that baseline grade at the tertiary level. We also realize too that 64% of tertiary graduates remain in the local sector. And if you look at our graduates and look at the statistics for our tertiary graduates who remain in Jamaica to work, you realize that this is a significant impact here. And, and also, Paula, very important, I, I, you, you might know, I think all Jamaicans are aware that agricultural science at the CSEC level is the best performing subject. And this has been so over the last, over the last four or so years. And while I will not credit all the success uh, at, to, 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 to the scholarship and what we do here at Forage, because I think that one of the best performing units, public sector unit, is the tech book unit in the Ministry of Education. And I think we must really call them out and dig them up. Because if you look at the vocational subjects, we consistently perform better at those subjects than any other subject and not because of any accident but it's because of the work and the partnership they work closely with 4-H on home economics and agriculture but also we provide significant level of scholarships and bursaries for these CSEC students in addition to our school garden program which support the school based assessment and so out of the scholarship 98.2% of secondary beneficiaries from the scholarship receive a pass grade at its agricultural, in agricultural science at the CSEC level. 98.2%. And of this 98.2%, 90.3% of them receive either range one or two. And now remember, three is also a pass, which means less than 8%. Um, participate um, would have scored a a, a grade three. This is excellent news. We have to wrap up, but before we go, can you quickly tell us how folks can apply? Well, um, we, 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 because of the COVID pandemic, uh, most of our applicants, applications are by way of online application. There's a JOT form. You can visit the 4-H website and you can fill out that form as well as those persons who may be challenged as it relates to access, you can visit any of our 14 parish offices and you can do um, a, you will get a form, you can fill out that form and that form will be uploaded for you to participate. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're going to be getting quite a few applicants after this conversation and we're so appreciative of the conversation. Dr. Blake, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you and your listeners. Our pleasure. Folks, there you have it. Even as we maneuver through the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's encouraging to know there's hope for many of our students in agriculture. Did you know, by the way, that under the new Face of Food initiative, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries is providing a funding amount of over $120 million to the College of Agricultural Science and Education case, as well as $2.8 million in irrigation support to the primary schools through collaboration with the F. FAO and Jamaica 4 H clubs. Indeed, our youth are stakeholders in the drive to transform Jamaica's agricultural sector. Don't forget to follow the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries on Facebook at Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Check them out on Twitter and Instagram at MOAFJM. And keep on listening Wednesdays right here for AgroBuzz.